This video is made possible by North Naperville Autos. If you're looking for a quality used car in the Chicagoland area, North Naperville Autos is here to help. Browse their inventory at NorthNaperVilleAutos.com and drive home in a new vehicle today. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2007 Toyota Camry LE. Up front is a 2.4 liter inline four, and down below is a five speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here 2007 Toyota Camry because I actually haven't driven this generation of Camry before. I've driven Camrys spanning all the way back to 1989. I've driven some from the 90s. I've driven some from the early 2000s and I've driven some modern ones. But now I get to fill that gap in my Camry lineup with this here 2007. So let's get back to that 2.4 liter inline four. Well, this is the base engine that was offered here in the Toyota Camry. However, there was a V6 version if you wanna seek that out. However, they're a little bit more rare and you're gonna be paying a little bit more because those were upper trim levels. I'll put the horsepower and torque for the 2.4 liter up on the screen. Nothing really too crazy and fuel economy follows suit with not being crazy, but adequate. And that's really the entire mantra of this here Toyota Camry is that it's not amazing, but it's good. Like I said, Paraduit is an automatic transmission. It's shifting really, really well. It's a fine, normal, average automatic transmission. I'm not noticing any weird beeps, squeaks, rattles, or pops, and I like that. Last but not least, the Camry is front wheel drive, and this generation was only offered with front wheel drive. There was no all wheel drive version offered in this body style. So let's talk about the interior. We have quite a bit to go through in here. So let's start with the gauges. In front of me, I have a bunch of different gauges. On the left is my coolant temperature, then my tachometer. Moving on to the right, I have my speedometer with odometer at the bottom and my fuel on the far right. Very plain and simple gauges, but they're easy to read. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have volume, skip track, and mode, which is funny, it has like little instructions on it almost. It says audio off and then you hold it, so I guess you can mute by just holding the mode button. But on the right side, there is a cruise control stalk, but that's it making the steering wheel sort of lopsided. The steering wheel itself is this sort of hard, plasticky, textured, base model feel to it, which is fine and has actually held up decently well for being 14 years old. To the left of me, I just have my power mirror switches, and on the door, I have my lock and unlock and power windows. Moving into the center, I actually have a little information screen way up at the top of the dash. It's just giving me my time as well as the security light and the passenger airbag light. Moving into the center stack itself, I have two climate control vents with my hazard switch. Then I have my standard Toyota radio. This is a pretty large radio. It's very easy to see, very easy to navigate, and I really, really like that. Now, of course, this is before the era where screens were in every single square inch of every car, and so I just get a little readout, but it's nothing too crazy. It's simple and easy to use. Going along with that same pattern, the climate controls are simple and easy to use. I just have my fan controls on the left, temperature in the middle, and where to send it on the far right. I don't get dual zone climate. However, again, this is 2007, and this is a Toyota Camry. Down below the climate controls, I have a little garage door cubby that has a 12-volt outlet inside, as well as just room for some extra storage if you need that in the Camry. Then the center console itself, we have the shifter on the left. This is the very standard, typical Toyota jigsaw shifter, I like to call it, because there is no button or quick release or anything like that. You just have to move it around in order to get it into different gears. Very simple, and Toyota actually still uses this on some of their vehicles today. I mean, even some modern Lexus products still use this shifter, so it works. It's inexpensive for them to manufacture, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. But to the right of that, I do have cup holders, so we will do a big friggin' bottle test, and it fails right here, but down below, I do have a larger cubby, which actually fits the big friggin' bottle very snugly. So, while the main cup holders don't handle it, there is a spot for it within arm's reach, that fits the big friggin' bottle, so I will give the 2007 Toyota Camry a pass. Next to that cubby that fits the big friggin' bottle is another 12 volt outlet, which is great for charging or a cigarette lighter or anything of the sort. 
All right, so to save us both some time, I'm going to be doing today's sponsor reads, hot lapping the test track in my 2019 Mazda 3 all wheel drive. The first sponsor is Fixed. Fixed is an automotive OBD2 sensor that you plug into your car and it gives you tons of really cool diagnostics. Click the link in the description below and you will get an offer code for my viewers only. You get a bunch of money off. Next is Con Plates. You don't want to stick the plate on the outside of your car? Cool. Stick it out with some suction cups. And last but not least, if you want to sell your car, go to cashforcars.com. Click the link in the description below, get a free quote, and they'll pick up your car in less than 24 hours. Thank you to all the sponsors for making these reviews possible. And that is a lap. Now, the seats are decently comfortable. Like I keep saying, this is very much a base model, and they're not the most comfortable thing in the world. However, they are working and I honestly haven't even thought about them until this very moment. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats, so let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2007 Toyota Camry LE, and first of all, leg room is great, headroom is great. Way, way, way better than the brand new 2021 BMW 330i. I recently got an interestingly worded and phrased comment on that video because I said that the back seat of the 330 was way too small. Well, this is a Toyota Camry and I fit beautifully. I can stretch my legs out, my headroom is great, leg room is great. I really have no complaints in this here back seat. And this is what I'm talking about. Why should a $40,000 car have a worse back seat than a 2007 Toyota Camry? It's just a space thing. That's what baffles my mind. But anyway, power windows back here. I have a little cubby up here. Center console comes down, two cup holders in there. And that's really it. Nothing really too crazy back here, but like I said, very, very comfortable, very spacious. You can take four people in here, really a fifth if you wanna shove them in the middle. You can take them very, very comfortably. This is a great car for going on road trips, great car for packing your friends in, going to get a little ice cream or maybe a smoothie. Really, really fantastic. Speaking of fitting stuff in, Let's go take a look at the trunk real quick. So around the back of the 07 Camry, I do have a trunk hold button here I can hit and it pops right open. Really, really like that. Now, of course it is a used car, so the floor mats are back here. But I mean, just look at the pure size of this trunk. I mean, it is massive, it is huge, and that is awesome. I mean, if you can't fit something back here, I don't know what to tell you. I think you just have to buy a pickup truck because there is so much room in here. It's really, really fantastic. And those seats do go down, so you can put things through that opening, like lumber or anything of the sort. Don't know why you'd be hauling lumber in a Camry, but here it is. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and if this doesn't fully encompass the 2000s blob styling, I don't know what will. It's rounded, it's uninteresting, it's bland, and it's boring. However, that was sort of the style of the time. And like I keep saying, it's a Camry. It doesn't have to be fun, exciting, or exhilarating. And so with that being said, let's get to my final thoughts on this here 2007 Toyota Camry. Well, it's just that. This car is boring, it's uninteresting, and rather forgettable. However, that's good. This is a Toyota Camry. This car will start up every single morning. When you're running late to class, you don't have to worry if this car is going to start. You don't have to worry about some hidden expensive maintenance cost. Like the car I drove yesterday was a Cadillac with a North Star V8. That car might not turn on tomorrow, and if it does, it'll probably leave a pool of oil in your driveway. That's not the case here with this here Camry. This one has 86,000 miles, and it drives like brand new. And it'll continue to drive like brand new at 130, 150, 200,000 miles. All right, maybe it won't drive like brand new at 200,000 miles, but it'll still be driving. It'll still be working. It'll still start up every single morning. And that, that is why the Toyota Camry is just amazing. And really that goes across most of Toyota's lineup for the last 30 odd years. They're dependable. No, they're not exciting. And when you tell someone you buy a Toyota Camry, they're not going to drop what they're doing to congratulate you. But if you're okay with that, if you're okay with living outside of the spotlight, then I can't really see any reason to buy anything else. I mean, this is really truly the cockroach of cars. There's a million of them and you just can't kill them. I honestly think when World War III finally breaks out, which 
Could happen any day now. And the world is tossed into global fallout. Bottle caps have become the new currency. World governments have been overthrown. Society itself has crumbled. I guarantee you, you will be able to find a 2007 Toyota Camry and get in and it'll start up. And it won't even need an oil change. Just get in and go. Toyota's motto is let's go places. When it really should be, let's keep going places for a long, long time. That's it. If you can stomach the boringness of this car, you have a true legend on your hands. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos for letting me take out their 2007 Toyota Camry. This is one of their used vehicles. North Naperville Autos is a Carfax certified dealer in the Chicagoland area, and they find affordable cars that won't leave you stranded like this here Camry. If you're looking for your first car or something just to get you point A to point B, North Naperville Autos should be your first stop. Their information is up on the screen and they do have financing available, which is absolutely fantastic. So huge thank you to North Naperville Autos. Please go check them out. Their information is up on the screen as well as linked in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video and subscribe. If you really liked it. Take care, guys.